Hello everyone, I am Himanshu and today we will be discussing how to do image processing using PIL that is Python imaging library called Pillow as well. So I have an image Walter White or JPG in my current directory. So we would be seeing how we can do some manipulations on that image. That is we would be seeing how we can convert that RGB image into a grayscale image or a black and white image and we would be seeing how to draw lines on it as well. So let's get started. So for doing that, we would be needing some of the modules. So from PIL, we would be needing image so as to open an image and image draw so as to draw something on an image. And we would be needing matplotlib as well, right? matplotlib.pyplot as plt so as to see the images. And let's specify matplotlib inline so as to include all the figures in our Jupyter notebook and let's open an image so how we can open this image we can do image.open and specify the name of the file which we want to open so I don't need to specify the whole path because it's in my current directory only now let's see the image so plt.image show is a function I am show is a function which is in the matplotlib library and if we pass the image object in it we can see the image so this is the image right this is Walter White's image and we know him as Heisenberg right so now let's see the size of this image so the size of this image is 980 by 490 that is it has a width of 980 and it has a height of 490 the xy axis is little bit different from the usual xy axis which we have seen. The upper left has 0, 0. So here is the image height 490, right? The x axis is the usual x axis starting from 0 and ending at 980, right? So let's see image width and height as well. We can see image height by doing image.height and width has image dot width right so let's see the image height and width so image height is 490 as we can see and 980 is the width of this image right now let's say we want to draw a vertical line at 400 that is it starts at 400 image height and end at 400 0 right so let us specify the coordinates of the line so y start would be image height right and y n would be 0 right and our x coordinate is fixed that is 400 and let us make a tuple of the starting and the ending point so starting point is x y start and the ending point is x y end now let us initialize one draw object as well which would be talking with this image so draw would be image draw dot draw image so this draw object would be talking with this image so how we can draw the line so for drawing the line we would be doing draw, draw dot line specifying the line and specifying the color as the RGB components so we are specifying it to be a red line so red component is 25, 255 and blue and green are 0 and let us see the image now we would be seeing one vertical line and let us set the figure size as 20 by 20 so as we can see the image clearly and let us see the image now so Oh, we have done one spelling mistake. Now we can see that we, there is a vertical line at 400, right? So this has been done in place. That is now our image object is this, right? So if we want to do any other changes on the previous image, that is this image, we won't be able to make it in this image because now there is there has been a 
vertical line on it. So all the changes which we would be doing, thinking about that we are doing the changes in this image, we would be doing in this image. Because now the draw object has changed the image completely. So what we would be doing is, let's say we want to create lines at the space of 100, that is intervals 100, that is first vertical line would be at 100 width and second would be at 200 then 300 so on. So we can do, we can achieve this with the same code which we have written, just we need to do some of the changes like now our x would be varying right. So we would be running one for loop. So this x would be changing every time. First time it would be 0, then 100, then 200 and so on, right? Y start and Y end would be same, right? So all these things would come under the for loop. So let's make a for loop. So for loop would be taking for x in range 0 to image width and let's say we want to make a interval of 100 so this would come under the for loop this would come under the for loop right now we can see that the horizontal lines are being found at the 100 intervals right similarly we can build a uh, horizontal lines as well. In horizontal lines, what would be changing uh, would be the y's. First it would be 0, then 100, then 200 and so on till the image height and our x would be very, uh, x would be constant. x start would be 0 and x end would be this image width. Now let's do that. So let's copy the same code which we have written and Let's see now. Here we would be making some of the changes. X start would be 0 and Xn would be what? Xn would be image width, right? And Y would be our varying now. So for Y in range, 0 to image height at the interval of 100 it would be x start y is constant here x end y is constant same and let us see now now we can see the grid right so the grid has been formed so this grid was formed when the step size was 100 right if the step size could have been 1, then that tiny 1 cross 1 square would have represented a pixel. And that pixel would have let us know how much content of RGB is there in that 1 cross 1 square, right? So in the next video, we would be getting back to it and see how the image is being stored in the memory. And I need to make an announcement that from now onwards, Every week there would be a, at least one video on machine learning or deep learning. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it so that you can be updated. Thank you so much.